Hello, what can we use to solve this nice Olympiad mass question or problem? x to the power of 4 equal to 3 to the power of x. I guess log can be better. For this time around, let's play around with natural logarithm. Now, to solve this, we are going to take the natural log of both sides. Now, this is going to give me the natural log of x to the power of 4, right, equal to the natural log of 3 to the power of x. Now, in the next step, I want you to recall a law of logarithm that if you have log of, it applies to natural log 2, log of b base a, this can be equal to b multiplying the log of a, right? So if we apply that to natural logarithm, you come to see that the whole uh, a or the whole power will now become this whole thing will now become four in of x equal to x in of what in of three. So what do we do from here? This expression is a bit dicey. If I want to solve this, then what we need to do is to just simplify this. Now, we'll simplify by dividing both sides by r by the, by the integers. Now, if we do that, we're going to have in of x dividing what? x. And this will be equal to in of 3 dividing what? That way, we would have simplified this. Now, at this point, we are going to simply uh, simplify further. Now, I want you to recall in a uh, logarithm that we will have the exponent of the in of x. This can simply be equal to x. Now, from this expression, I can replace this whole thing with this value of x. Now, if I do that, I'll have that expression to give me the value of the in of x divided by the exponential value of in of x. And this will be equal to in of 3 divided by 4, right? Great. Now, how do we simplify this further? Also recall that if I have 1 divided by a to the power of n, this can simply give me a to the power of negative n, right? Good. Now, if I simplify that, using that in that expression, I'm going to have the in of x multiplying the exponential value of negative in of x, right? And this would be equal to the in of 3, divided by 4. Great. Now, from this point, we are going to simplify further. Now, if we simplify further, we're simply going to apply some rules of log of indices uh, or, or mathematical rules. Now, in order to make the index, this index to be same with this multiplier, we need to multiply both sides by negative. Now, if we multiply both sides by negative, we'll have negative multiplying the in of x multiplied by the exponent value of the negative in of x. And this whole expression will be equal to the negative value of the in of 3 divided by 4. Now, with this expression, we can have negative in of x multiplying the exponential value of negative in of x and this would be equal to negative in of 3 divided by 4. Now why did I have to multiply both sides by negative? This expression now look more perfectly like the Lambert W function expression. Recall the Lambert W function expression that will have the Lambert of a multiply by exponent of a, this can be simply equal to a. Now, if we apply that to that expression, where this is a, and this is the exponential index value of a, then that expression can simply give me 
the Lambert of this whole expression negative in of x multiplying the exponential value of negative in of x and all of these will be equal to negative in of 3 divided by 4 the Lambert of the negative in of 3 divided by 4 and that is equal to this is going to give us simply negative in of x and this will be equal to the Lambert of all of these negative in of 3 divided by 4. Great. Now, to simplify this further, we're going to uh, simply uh, expandate. Now, if we expandate this, this can be negative multiplied by in of x. I have not changed anything. And this will be equal to the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4. Now, from this point, I can simply uh, make this to be, since this is negative 1, right? And uh, this is multiplying the in of x. We didn't change anything. This can still be equal to the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4. Now, according to the rule of logarithm, this can become an exponential value. So I'll have the in of x to the power of negative 1, right? And this will be equal to the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4. Now, what do we make out of this? If we take the exponent of both sides, we're going to have that expression to give us the exponential value of in of a to the power of negative 1, right, equal to the exponential value of the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4, right? So from this point, if according to the rules of indices, we will have, we will have this expression here, if we have this expression here, definitely this will recall that if we have the in of x, this can simply be what? x. So if we have the in, the exponent of in of x to the power of negative 1, while this cancel out this, we can simply have our x to the power of negative 1 to be equal to the exponential value of Lambert negative in of 3 divided by 4. Now, what do we have here? At the end, we're going to have the solution. And what will the solution be? This is the same thing as 1 divided by x equal to exponential value of the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4, right? And from here, we can see that the value of x will be equal to the exponential value of this, the reciprocal of this, the exponential value of the Lambert of negative 1 in of x, in of 3, divided by 4. And this will be the solution to that mathematics expression given to us. So this is going to give me x equal to the reciprocal value of the exponent of the Lambert of negative in of 3 divided by 4. And this is the solution to that math expression given to us up here. Remember, we are asked to find the value of x. And that is exactly the value of x that satisfy that math question given to us up there. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.